A warning for parents. If you think you're giving your sick child the right amount of medicine, you may not be. It turns out many parents are either, either giving their kids not enough or too large a dose. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here now with a surprising wake-up call. Doctor. You know, that's right. For medications to work best, they have to be just the right dose. And that's usually based on weight for a small child. But then you might have to measure it out, and that can be tricky. And then you have to get your child to take it without spilling. Hard to do. You have a feverish child that you have to give medicine to. He or she might be squirmy or crying. The label says a teaspoon for a certain age or more depending on weight. And then you have to measure that into those tiny cups or into a spoon. And who can read those tiny numbers on the little cups? Small wonder that parents make medication mistakes. In our study, we found that over 80% of parents were making at least one dosing error. That's right. Four out of five parents may be making mistakes when giving their children liquid medicines. In a study in the journal Pediatrics, Dr. Yin and colleagues asked more than 2,000 parents of children ages eight or younger to measure out various doses of common childhood medicines. Parents doled out the wrong dose 43% of the time when using a dosing cup. 20% of parents at least once measured more than twice the amount listed on the label. By comparison, mistakes with oral syringes happen only 16% of the time. Again, mistakes were both too much and too little medicine. With overdoses of medications, we worry um, that the child will experience side effects, will be harmed by that medication, and when uh, medications are underdosed, um, we also worry um, that the child's illness might not be effectively treated. By far, the worst way to measure medicine is in a spoon. They vary way too much in shape and size to be accurate. The best way to get the right dose is with an oral syringe, but first, measure into a cup and then draw the medicine into the syringe to avoid contaminating the medicine in the bottle. And the syringe has a benefit beyond dose accuracy. You can squirt it right into the, to the child's mouth, and um, you know that you've given them the full dose. Now, you should always ask your child's doctor to calculate the right dose of over-the-counter medications based on your child's weight. That's much better than the usual label recommendations based on age. But either way, following the old saying that says, measure twice, give once when it comes to medicine. Yes, and the syringe, they can't just spit it out the way. Right, that's, yeah, no, that's much easier. Squirt too. it in there, and that's good. Yeah, Otherwise, they're yes. spitting it or they're tossing it around, and you don't know whether they got how much they got. Mm -hmm. Better way to do it. You bet. Thanks, Dr. Max. You bet. That is it for the news at 5. We'll see you again at 11. The news at 6 starts right now.